Hi everyone, and welcome back to Around the World in Many Days. Today's episode is number 22, and it's titled In It for the Long Haul. Let's jump right in and see what Gladys has in store for us this time. The grid looks like this. Uh, so some gray stuff and with numbers and arrows and then a crossword grid on black here. Let's read the preamble first. So dear Puzzling, the light gray numbers and arrows form a Yajulin puzzle. Shade some cells in the grid and draw one continuous loop that visits all unshaded cells except those that have numbers in them, going horizontally and vertically through centers of cells without crossing itself or branching out. Shaded cells cannot share an edge with another shaded cell, but they can touch numbered cells. In each numbered cell, uh, the number indicates how many shaded cells are in the direction of the arrow. Let's look at what that means. So this is the editable grid here. So we must shade some cells in the grid. We can't shed, shade adjacent cells, but they can be next to these numbers. And the number indicates how many uh, shaded cells are in this direction from, from the arrow. So these two could be this, this. So that's that counts to two shaded cells in uh, in the in that direction. And once we have the the shadings done, we must make one loop that goes around the entire grid of the or the unshaded cells. So that is how Yagelin works. We're gonna do that first, but let's look at what the rest of the preamble says. So in the crossword, you have three options for each, for each answer. Uh, fill the grid by selecting one answer from each clue from the options provided. And the, the, the options are, are below, but I have them in an editable uh, in the notepad here as well. So we can edit, edit that as we go along. And then where we are, uh, traveling here was the longest single stretch so far this trip. I suppose when you travel as much as I do, you have to get used to the occasional long haul flight. Today I am at a public square at the center of a long, uh, in the center of a large city. I have visited a beautiful old cathedral and admired the numerous statues, monuments, and fountains in the surrounding area. Can you guess where I am? Love Gladys. Okay, so we are looking at a, a public square of some kind in a large city. So uh, we're going to solve the Yajalin first and continue on with the crossword afterwards. So let's see. So how do we start with this one? So we have the loop and the the shading to consider. And uh, the best thing to do is to do them together, sort of. Uh, usually you can't solve the shading first and then draw the loop. You have to do both at the same time. But uh, a good place to start is um, cells that cannot be part of the loop uh, in any scenario. So for example, this cell here, if you put the uh, draw the loop there, it can't get out. So any cell which is part of the loop has to have two neighbors which are unshaded, uh, where it can come from and go to. So this cell cannot be part of the loop, so it must be shaded. Same is true of this, this, and this. All of these, uh, all of these sort of um, dead end cells must be shaded. And then next to shaded cells, we can mark unshaded cells. And I'm going to use these dots this time for unshaded cells. And that is just, just because I don't want to scroll up and down for the paint tool. Um, so we mark these as unshaded. Now, once we have an unshaded cell that only has two neighbors, it must, uh, these are, can't go there, can't go there. So. Once we have a, an unshaded cell that only has two neighbors available, it must take both of them. So we can mark these immediately. And again, this is unshaded. It only has two neighbors it can take. So here, and this end cannot continue this way. That would make a, that's not, uh, that's too small a loop. We have to make one loop that covers the whole, the whole thing. So it must go down. And the same thing happens here. This only has two neighbors. That it can go to, it can't go there, so it must go down. This this one only has one way to go, and this only has two neighbors, so it must must go up. This must go up, and this only has two neighbors, so it must go to the right, and this must go to the right. So that's how much how much of the loop we can uh, immediately uh, complete with just these four shaded cells. Now there are some other um, parts of the grid that cannot be shaded. Um, because of this uh, sort of uh, dead end rule. 
So for example, if we shade this cell, now we make a dead end and it has to be, it's next to a shaded cell, so it has to be unshaded and now the loop can't get out of it. So immediately we can see that this can never be shaded. Any cell that makes a dead end cell next to it cannot be shaded. So this would make a dead end cell here, so that's unshaded. This cell would make a dead end cell here, so that's unshaded. This cell would make a dead end cell here, so that's unshaded. And do we have another one somewhere? Not that I can see immediately. Okay, but at least these four must be unshaded. Um, and now these aren't all that helpful because they all have three sides available. So we can't really fill in any of the loop for these cells. But what we haven't looked at yet is uh, the numbers, and the numbers are going to be important as well. So, for example, these zeros already tell us, uh, all of these zeros tell the same thing, uh, which is that these two cells cannot have a shaded cell in them. So these are both unshaded. This one tells us that it sees one shaded cell, but that's already solved actually, because that's shaded. These two must see two shaded cells in this direction. It sees one, and there's only one place where the second one can be, so that must be shaded. So next to it is an unshaded cell, which means this can, must go down at least here, and this one can only continue this way. Uh, now then, what about these two? So two of these four cells must be shaded. Well, obviously they can't be next to each other. Uh, so one of these these two has to be shaded and one of these two has to be shaded. Mm. If we shade this, I think we immediately run into a problem here, which is now this must be unshaded and uh, only two neighbors available, so it must take both of them, but now this is a dead end and has to be unshaded. So there's no way. Uh, the loop must go here, but it can't get out, so that's an illegal state. So all in all, if we make this shaded, uh, it doesn't work. So this must be unshaded. And now, obviously, we can't make this unshaded because then we would have to sh shade both of these. So this must be shaded. So that's one of the two here. And we don't know which one of, the, of these is going to be the other one. But this end has to continue this way. Can't go there. So it has to go this way. This end, only is one way to go. It's there. Now this one, uh, has two options. It can be this or this. And this is maybe less less obvious why this doesn't work. This doesn't work uh, if you shade here. And the reason is that uh, if we look at this area here, uh, first of all, uh, we have two unshaded cells next to the, the, the new shaded cell. So both of them have to go like this. They only have two neighbors, have to go come here and uh, come from here and go there. But now this area has three ends of the loop and neither of them can get out. And we can't join three ends of the loop. We can only join two, right? So whichever of these joins the others, one is going to be left uh, unresolved. So there's no way to complete the loop from here. And that's true of any... any uh, any loop puzzle where you have an area, a blocked off area that has ends of the loop going in, you have to have a, a, an even number of ends going into a closed area. So all that said, that means this, sh uh, this cell cannot be shaded. It would break because of, we can't, continue, uh, can't complete the loop here. So that's unshaded, which means this must be shaded now. And that gives us a lot of information. So all of these are unshaded and all of those that have only two neighbors are already solved. So this must go there and there. This cell must go there and there. This cell now only has two available neighbors because this is taken. So there and there. This cell only has two available neighbors. Now this end cannot go continue up because that would complete a smaller loop here can't do that. So that must continue that way. That must continue that way. And again, we can't join them here. So this must continue here. And 
this uh, can can still go two ways. Now this is a dead end cell, so it must must be shaded. The loop can't go there because it can't get out, and the loop can never get there, obviously. So that's shaded as well. Now this only is one way to go. It's there. Can't go, can't go there because we would be closing the loop too soon. So this only has one one way to go, and it's there. <coughs> Now then, all that's left to do is this corner, and we still don't know um, which of these two cells is going to be shaded. Now let's look at both options. If we do this, if we shade this, what's going to happen with this cell? Well, this first of all can only go this way, and now this has to be unshaded because it has to a shaded cell, but the loop can't reach it. So we can't, can't do that. This must be unshaded then, and this must be shaded. Now, how did that work then? This continues this way. This must be unshaded. Only two neighbors where it can go. So this must be shaded. This only has two neighbors, and only one way to go there. So this is the correct uh, loop for the Agilent. Let's just check. So this has this is two, this is two, this is one. This is one, and these all see zero. And there's one continuous loop. So that's the solution for the Yagelin puzzle. <clears throat> and we are going to going to come back to that once we solve the crossword. So let's open the crossword then. I have it somewhere. I know I do. Here it is. So this is a crossword grid without these corner cells. So a bit different. Different. Uh, shape of the grid than with the Yagelin puzzle. But um, we have three options for each of these. And uh, how do we go about solving this? Well, I, I like a um, sort of systematic approach. You can sort of try out different things, trial and error. But I like actually pencil marking a lot of stuff in these cells that can uh, that are sort of checked checked uh, squares so squares that have both a, an across and down uh, down clue going through them so for example uh, this one down can be maiden so I would be ma marking let's use capital C A I D E and N I would be marking these, pencil marking these in, and then doing the same thing with pipe up. So P, I, P, E, U, P, and the same thing with take in. So T, A, K, E, I, N. So these are the options for this cell uh, from the point of view of the, the across answers. And once we go look at the, the down answers, we can limit those options and then once we limit some option, we can take some of these option, options down from the across answers. So, for example, uh, this two down could be ale. So this A, L, E could be art, A, R, T, or it could be I, I, R, E. So A and I, still both possible here. Three down, Imam. Well, actually, we don't actually need to mark this. That'll probably just confuse us because I want to mark these uh, squares that matter. So for example, this doesn't matter. It's uh, completely uh, determined by what, what's going to be in these cells. So I'm going to mark the mark only the checked squares here. So three down could be imam. So I M A M. And we can also check that I, P, K, so I, P, and K are all first letters here, so they are all possible. So we can leave those in Imam, K, A, N, A, and then Palm, P, A, L, M. So these are the options options for the for three down. Then we have four down, which is D and A. So D and E, still both possible first letters. D and A is D and N. Emo, E and M. And then we have end, E and N. 
And what about five? So first letter N and P, both possible. So nuance, N-U-A-N-C-E. Pianos, P, I, A, N, O, and S. And pineal, P, I, N, E, A, L. So those are the options for this one. So we couldn't actually limit uh, any of these three possibilities for one across. Let's look at six across. That has a it's just a longer uh, longer answer. So maybe we can limit that based on these. So film noir is F I L M N O I R. Still possible. Th those letters are all all part of these. Uh, uh, letters that are possible for this. So L, M, N, and I still possible. Paramour, Paramour, P, A, R, A, M, O, U, R still possible. And Paranoia, P, A, R, A, N, O, I, and A all still possible. So we can't limit any of these. Um, these down answers, but we see that this can only be O now. So that we can actually mark that as a bigger, bigger letter. This is already solved as O. So does that help us with seven down? Unfortunately, it doesn't. So we have Odin, Ogle, and Oven. So they already all start with O. But let's mark the possibilities here anyway. So O D I N Ogle O G L E oven O V E and N and we should probably look at these two as well so F P for sixty down F and P both possible so fat pet and bus F A T or P E T and P U S and this one can be uh, add rag and red A D D R E G R E D all still possible. Let's then look at this long 10 across. So this can be, first letter can be T or S, that's still both possible. Fourth letter can be M or A, that's e, A here, M here, but it can't be K. So trekking can, cannot fit here because there's no K, there's no answer for three down ending in K. So trekking we can remove from these options and we only have two options for 10 across. So that helped us a little bit. Let's type those uh, letters. Uh, let's just see the, these, the rest of these. So the sixth letter can be I or it can be L, but it cannot be E anymore. So we can eliminate this E here. And once E is eliminated from this, we can eliminate oven from this seven down. It can still be Odin or Ogle. What about this NE? So uh, is this seventh letter now for the ten for the ten? Ten across. N or E is still possible. And for the last letter, G and D is still possible. Alright, let's fill in the rest of the checked uh, squares here. So this one is T or R. E or A, and this one doesn't matter, it's not checked by a, a down clue. So, two answers still possible for 10, 10 across, but we managed to, uh, to uh, eliminate one of them. Let's look at then these crossing, uh, crossing answers for this 10, 10 across and see what we get from these. So, 9 down would be create, that still works with this R. Fruity still works with this R, and Grudge still works with this R, but that uh, means that all of these options have an R at the, as the second letter. So T is not possible here, which means we can mark this as R, and now this 10 across cannot be stealing because the second letter has to be an R, so it must be trampled. So trampled is 10 across, and now this is going to help us a ton with this, this top half. I think we'll look at the top half first and then continue with this, what we were doing with this 9 down.
So uh, six down. Fat pet can can no longer be pass, but fat and pet still possible. Uh, three down. Imam still possible. Kana not possible. Palm still possible. So this can no longer be K. And this can be M or A still. M or A. Here. So this can no longer be K. So that should eliminate something for, from one across. So third letter can't be K. So this is I is still possible. P is still possible. Take in is no longer possible. And let's see. AI still possible. IP still possible. D and E still possible. And N and P as the last letter still possible. Okay. Let's look at uh, this four down. Can we eliminate something from this? So DNA still possible. EMO still possible. END still possible. Can't eliminate any of these options. How about seven down? Odin no longer works. This is not an I. It has to be Ogle then. How about this five down? So this E was the resolved letter. That's letter number four. So five down. Letter number four must be E. So nuance doesn't work. Pianos doesn't work. So it must be pineal. And what about this eight down? Add works, ADD. Rag doesn't work, that's impossible now. But red does work as well. So R and A is still possible, both of them. This P though, for the one across, uh, last letter P must be pipe up then. So maiden was eliminated. And now a lot of these are going to be resolved as well. So two down is starting with I now. So that's IR. Three down starts with P. So that can no longer be Imam. It must be Palm. Four down starts with an E. So DNA is eliminated there. It can still be Emo or End. And what about this six across now? So Film Noir, first of all, this R, third letter R eliminates this Film Noir, but R and R still possible. Take this out. This A, fourth letter, A and A still possible. N and M still possible. O and I, well, that's O and I, but that's O and U, so that's impossible now. Has to be paranoia. Which means this eight down must be add. And six down must be pet now. And this four down cannot be emo anymore, must be end. And now this top half is solved. So we can go back to what we were doing with nine down and use this pencil marking letters. So create. E A T E fruity F R U I T Y grudge G R U D G E. Um, then let's look at all of these crossing letters for this for this long answer here. So eleven must be can be arch can be arch A R C H, but it cannot be echo because of this A. So echo can be removed, and this must be H then. Only option. Um, how about um, I'm thinking about whether we should look at 13 down, but actually this is pretty pretty useful now we have these letters here. So maybe look at this long as 12 uh, 12 across. So marginal, MA doesn't work immediately. Uh, second letter A is impossible because of this crossing answer. Can't do that. Now neckwear works, nuisance works. 
but both of them start with an N, that must be N then. Okay, and so third letter C or R, C works, but this I doesn't work. So nuisance is not possible, neckwear is the only option. And you can fill in neckwear. And does this E help us with the, the, the nine? It does, third letter E, create works, fruity doesn't, grudge doesn't. So create is the only option here. Now this ACH limits 11 down to just Archer. 14 down, lab red or rust. Lab doesn't work, but red or rust do work. Um, I'm going to just look at this one because I think we can solve this without any further pencil marking because of this T and H here. So atheist works, T and H, atomized doesn't, brothers doesn't. So we can remove those. Atheists is the answer here, and that should give us all the rest. So N something A is 12 down. That must be NBA, can't be either of these. Um, 13 down, IBIS doesn't work. Weight works with the side there. Wars doesn't, so it has to be weight. What about this 15? Uh, no, well, first of all, this 14 is resolved because you know we only we're only missing the the unchecked letter, so we know it's going to be solved. Red doesn't work with this S, so Ross is the word. And then uh, what about 18? Elbows, L B O, that doesn't work. Exeter, X E T E R still works. Youths doesn't work, start doesn't start with an E. So Exeter must be the correct answer. And now 15. Oh, uh, it was hidden there. Sorry. Uh, 15 down is not Ash. Can be D, cannot be Lou. So it's D. And then the last one cannot be few. Could be use. Cannot be C. So use is the answer. And that is the completed grid. Uh, again, like different approaches possible there, how to solve that. But I think that's the sort of um, systematic one. But you can just type in all the, all the possibilities and eliminate uh, options based on that. Now then, uh, how do we then combine this with the Yarjulin puzzle. So let's do the shading and the loop here in this grid and see what we come up with. See what we come up with. So shade the same cells as in the Yarjulin. Now I'm not sure I can fit both of these on the screen at the same time. Can we? Can zoom out a little bit, maybe it works. It almost does. Okay, zoomed out a little bit and it works. So we can uh, shade all the cells that are shaded in the yard, Jillian. So it's going to be these, these, that one, these two, these two corner here, this one and one because like this that's the that's the ones that are are shaded. And I'll just mark the, the numbers as well so we can actually see what's going on. So that's the numbers. And now draw the loop as well and we'll look at what's left then. So the loop goes here, here, through here, all the way here and up, and then up here and all the way down here. So that is the loop. And if we now look at 
the letters untouched by the loop. Oh, what are we spelling here? P or Yeah, no, it's not the letters untouched by the loop. I was actually mistaken here. It's just the the shaded letters here. So actually, we didn't need the loop at all. The shaded letters here are going to be the solving the answer, uh, um, spelling out the answer. So P R A. So ignore these. P R A C A D A S E. Prasa da se. And that is a public square in. Brazil, in Sao Paulo. Praça da Sé is our final answer here. So that's um, the central square of Sao Paulo and it has this cathedral and statues and all that kind of stuff that Gladys mentioned uh, in, in the letter there. So that is our final answer and let's look at the map. So we had a long haul flight. We were in Portugal last time in Lisbon. And now we are abandoning Europe. We are going all the way down here to Sao Paulo. So this is the trip so far. It's already starting to look a li bit, little bit more like a, uh, an around the world thing. It, I know it, we were on, a, on this sort of small area for a, for a long time, but I'm, I mean, most of Africa is not a small area, but still um, it's starting to look more like we are actually going to go across the entire world so uh that is that was episode 22 and uh we are not quite in schedule but we are slowly getting there and uh episode 23 let's just see what that's going to be called so it, episode uh, 23 the next one will be called tetromino jigsaw madness so that's a sort of crossword with um sort of a jigsaw puzzle where you have to fit in parts of the crossword to to fill it so that is going to be our next one and for this one thanks for watching